log 137. Came down to the school again, do a little bit of work. Got some things organized, laid out. Check out what they've got going on here. Seems to be moving pretty fast. I gotta go wash the car now that I got it vacuumed. Doing a little bit of work. Okay, doing a little strategy mind dump right here. Okay, I'm thinking about my PSA. And I know that we are gonna want there to be some sort of a campaign. content, photos, whatever it is, this will be the actual slideshow. This entire Google slide, like I said before, is embedded into the blog page. So anytime I update my Google slide, it automatically update, updates the blog page, which is the front-facing content for students, parents, anybody else. I mean, it's just, it's public. The blog page is public. Okay, so that kind of deals with the daily prep, the blog, the brain books, and the PSA with what I have going on there. about my expectations now 
for all students. What are my expectations for all students? Uh, number one, boy, be here Get along with others. Number two, make current classes your priority number one. really means just get in the dirt it means get down and actually do the work that you're supposed to be doing and this takes a couple of different forms if you know that your classes are priority number one that means you're gonna do certain things so there's my expectations a couple things you're gonna do What does it mean to be in the dirt? Write down all assignments in a planner or a calendar. Paper is definitely best. If you're not gonna do it on paper, you're gonna be wasting a lot of time. So writing things down, uh, in order to do that, you're going to have to read every word of every Google Classroom post and figure out how you are going to execute on your assignments. Basically, you write down all your assignments. In order to do this, you're going to need to read every word of every Google Classroom post and figure out how you're going to execute on all of those assignments. That can be difficult sometimes. You're definitely going to have to put in a lot of effort and Be willing to ask for help. Yeah, sometimes you don't know exactly how to ask for help. And I understand that. If School is actually your number one priority. Getting in the dirt might also mean uh, going to tutoring. There's a bug here. But it also means being able to work efficiently by minimizing distractions. Obviously, we're talking about cell phones, 
including headphones for certain times. Definitely, if you're organizing papers, that's a good time to be zoning out with those things. Putting your stuff in the right spot should take about 10 minutes. But if you're doing flashcards, flashcards would be a no cell phone time so that you can focus on those. Um, anytime you're doing study guides, that would definitely be a cell phone free time. Uh, let's see, what are some other times that you should be putting those away and minimizing those distract distractions? Anytime you're reading Anytime you're reading uh, literature, that would be a good time to put those things away because you'll just be working inefficiently if you're not. If you're not putting these away while you're doing these types of things, you're working inefficiently. So that's really getting down into the dirt. Um, I think another place that we really need to focus on is the bottom of blooms, which is memorizing. There are quite a few things that really should be memorized. And most of that is, for health at least, being able to do diagrams. knowing vocabulary. Those are definitely things to be working on memorizing. Um, diagrams definitely including models, such as models of thought or models of hierarchy, things like that. You should know what those things are. That's pretty important. And then for writing, we really should be focusing on technical writing as well as reflective writing. Lots of different ways to do that. Especially when things look like this. All this stuff needs to be archived and I just have not been able to get to it. I'd like to keep a lot of this stuff in my library but we'll see how this goes. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. So really what I'm talking about is this archive project. And the archive project really is gonna be spanning a lot of different time here, but I think the way that this needs to go is And I'm definitely going to have some deadlines. And leaving the classroom one more time.